Welcome, 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 you guys, and welcome to the Rejects in the Booth. It's another episode, yes, with us. I got SG3. Say what's up, big man. What's going on, guys? It's me. It's me. It's SG3. Just living the good life. You know how it goes. I got my main man over here, the Mac, the Zach, the Zach, the Mac, the Zachary, Macri. Say what's up to everybody. <laughs> so <stupid. laughs> That's right, guys. It's me, Zach Attack, Zach the Mac. You guys know. Cease to amaze you guys every week. I know. Um, <laughs> we're going to have a good show. <laughs> we're going to have a good show, guys. It's going to be good sports going on. Believe me, there's a lot of drama to talk about. Let's get into it, guys. Yes, yes, there is. There's a lot of drama. Now, as you guys said, now we're going to jump into NFL news today, of course, with sports news. First thing first is NFL. I know we had NFL free agency that happened this week. A lot of signings, a lot of movement going around. I'm going to let SG3 handle that at the end of the show. In the meantime, first things first with NFL, we found out Drew Brees announces his retirement. He is done in the NFL. Congratulations to Drew Brees on a wonderful career on my end. Um, before I pass it over to SG3 to say any wishes, any wishes to SG3? I, honest, brother, just, I wish you the best. You have years of a spectacular career. You have, you you know what? You have a lot of records under your belt. To me, probably in my, one of the best to ever lace up the cleats and throw that football, man. Five seasons, five uh, thousand yards. Only guy to ever do it. Five seasons, man. That's insane. That's that crazy. crazy. Um, I love you. I respect you. And I wish you many more. You know, have in your future endeavors. I will pass it off to the Zachary. Zachary, the match is back. Mac attack. What up, man? Say, say congratulations to the match. Man, I want to say Drew Brees is one of the greatest of my lifetime so far. Mm -hmm. um, I think, and at least to you know to retire, um, definitely a Hall of Famer easily. Um, I just, I mean, yeah, like as three said, I want to thank him for his career, man. I mean, I've seen a lot of good Drew Brees games, man. Um, I think he's pff, amazing record breaker. Um, Drew Brees is dope, you know. I think for me personally. For the short guys, you know, I, I got a ton of respect for him, man. For a quarterback to be that short, to be that sure that cannon all the way down the field, man, there's no stopping him. There's no stopping him, bro. So, I mean, unfortunately, I wish he could have did maybe another year, but I don't know. I'm not going to be honest. You guys will agree that last year was kind of, uh, so, yeah. you know. Um, <laughs> with that being said, I mean, you know, there's no reason to hang it up. I'm sure he's going to be. I think there was an announcement about him being, like, on the sports uh, tape, like, uh, talk, like, right, like an announcer kind of thing, so. Yeah, you know, we'll still see him here and there. It'll be on NBC Sunday night, man. Um, right. I'm so we, we should, we'll still see him here and there. Yeah, definitely. Uh, as far as what the guy said, of course, yes, he joins NBC Sports. Uh, we'll serve as an analyst, and we'll see how he does. Um, as far as you guys' opinion on well, he does. You guys think he's going to do well, uh, SG3? Absolutely, man. I mean, this man knows football. He knows how to break down defenses. Mm -hmm. And I feel like he's going to be a big compliment to the side of Tony Dungy. Like, okay. I feel like you're like a really big compliment to the side. Very good. What about you, Zach? Zach the Matt? What you think? You think he's gonna be successful? <clears throat> yeah, definitely. I mean, he's not gonna be working at no McDonald's like some quarterbacks <laughs> I know. So, <laughs> and I mean, if you do, you know, somebody's gonna be star studded going to order McDonald's. I'll tell you that. But yeah. nah, he's gonna be very successful. I think, man, he's gonna make something happen. Definitely further down the line. I mean, you know, it's true, Breeze. Hopefully. And I mean, you know, keep an eye on his kids. You know, they're young now, but who knows? Maybe they'll grow up to be future breezes out here. <laughs> That's true. That is true. Um, as far as uh, what's next for him, what um, rank wise? I guess let's talk about his rank. As far as an NFL quarterback um, in his lifetime, where do you um, where do you hold S Drew Brees um, as one of the greats? What do you think? Top five. Do? Top five. Top five. I, like I, I wasn't even gonna let you finish that question. You're top five. Very good. That man. That man, that man has set records. Yeah, so cool. He only has one Super Bowl. If you want to put the rings, whatever. But honestly, dude, that man has literally records set that haven't been broken for years. Like I said, five times, five seasons back to you know back to back that he got over five thousand yards in the combined NFL history. So you're not talking a hundred years of the NFL when right. the second quarter done that. Right. Only one guy did that. Five different. Yes. Yeah. Top five, if I book. Zachary Mack, what do you think, brother? Top five, uh, yeah. I would say top five, maybe at number five for me. So, okay, you know. Okay. 
I guess. I mean, I don't know, five, I don't know, five and a half, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but definitely, yeah, definitely, definitely up there, though. Definitely up there, man. I mean, definitely up there. Like I said, a Hall of Famer hands out. So, I mean, hopefully he's an early fam- Hall of Famer. Hopefully he's not one of those guys that they wait like freaking 20 years later no you can't even walk the stage you know yeah so you know hopefully yeah no i he's think he's right in there you know he deserves to be i think so yeah yeah i think to lead on to that i would have to have to say yeah he's um uh, i don't know my perspective too now i'm not too sure top five but i mean at least top 10 no doubt regardless of quarterbacks in top 10 i mean he has been yeah. one of the top Definitely top four, actually within the last four couple of years, within the last five or six years, one of the top five quarterbacks in the NFL thus far. I mean, you had, you went against Brett, uh, yeah, Brett Farr at one point, but you had Aaron Rodgers mainly most of your career. You had Tom Brady, you had Russell Wilson, you had, um, who else did you have? Dang. Uh, uh, Newton, no lie, uh, Eli Manning at one point for he, a good he, while. He went against both Manning brothers. So. Yeah, Peyton Manning you had in your on your time frame history. So you know it's argumentative as far as Eli and Drew. Definitely Drew, just my opinion. Um, but I'll, yeah, I'll give you that. Over Drew, bro, we and me, you need to have conversation. Yeah, no, 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 definitely not. No, 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 I would never. I think we all agree. Yeah, I think we all agree on that one. So, for sure on that one. So, definitely, you know, applaud his career. I think his accuracy speaks for himself as far as uh, what Zach the Mac, you mentioned about the Hall of Fame. I think he would definitely be a first ballot, no doubt, just because of what he brought to New Orleans as, in general. I mean, especially during the time frame of Hurricane Katrina when she hit. I think that was really uh, a uplifting of the state of Louisiana when, you know, he, they won the Super Bowl. So I think, hands down, just in that factor alone, he's going to get in for sure. Um, next question, I think, for sure, with you guys. Now that Drew is out, uh, one of the signings, of course, I'm not going to name all the signings, but as of this one particularly, I mean, the topic, uh, with Winston signing one more year with the Saints, how well do you think he's going to be successful in the Saints? Uh, SG3. Um, to our listener, Ms. Joe Marquez, I apologize for what I'm about to say, but uh, I'm sorry, please, please, please don't be mad at me. <laughs> But um, honestly, man, I feel that that man, he's under the right coach. If he wants to progress his career from where he was at, because the last time we all remember him was 30 interceptions. Yeah, like, right, 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 exactly. That, that's one thing we'll never forget about, 30 interceptions. Definitely. Uh, so it's like, he's under the right coach. This is a past happy coach. Yeah. It's going to help him develop his eyesight and develop what he wants to do in the quarterback position. Okay. Really, actually doing the right move by the Saints. Um, however, though, I do feel that he may keep the starting position for the whole season. I feel that eventually, Taysom Hill, Taylor, whatever the guy's name is, he's going to be taken. Okay. Okay. Uh, Zach the Mac, what about yourself? How well do you think he's going to be successful in the Saints? Tyson Hill, right? Well, that's the third, that's the second string right now at the moment. But Winston. Since he's Winston is okay. That's yeah, like Winston. Winston well, yeah, Winston signed off for one more year. Winston, I guess, uh, according to the Saints themselves, the organization is that nor at the moment now he is named the first the first string quarterback. So, what do you think? Um, uh, I personally think that Hill should have started um, right after Breeze. Um, I I'm okay with uh, I mean go ahead it's just three. I don't know I don't really know how to follow up either because that's that's just how I feel I feel like Hill should have got that started go ahead I just think Winston harder so far from what I've read so far from what I'm saying he hasn't been injured for time but they haven't so far said the fact that he's starting so no. far everyone believes that that's a speculation yeah 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 because exactly oh. yes moving okay, okay. ideally so, that's that's finish- what they're looking at yes. Right, okay. So to finish my statement, then that makes me feel better with my statement. So, in my decision, <laughs> I think that Hill should be started. If they start Winston, I won't be too upset with that because still Hill's coming in off the bench and, you know, coming in for trick plays, obviously, yeah. you know, coming in as a big right. second string, which is, I mean, which is, I mean, if he's comfortable with it, I'm comfortable with it, but right. I think Hill has, like, enough, t- like, I think he had enough time, and I think he's at a point where he could, you know, take that responsibility as a starting quarterback. Yeah. So, and I think, you know, I mean, I don't know, maybe, I mean, I, I can't speak from experience, obviously, I'm not a starting quarterback, but I feel like he's been there plenty of times to be like, yo, it's my team now, I'm starting, 
I got this all season. You know what I'm saying? You got to go in with that mentality. Right. And I think the Saints could go crazy if they really started with him. But um, I'm not saying that I'm not a fan of Winston either. Okay. Um, I just, I don't know. In my eyes, I just saw that, you know, being Hill's team, I guess. I don't know, because he looks so comfortable there. So, But I guess Hill's kind of like their ace in the hole. So, I mean, maybe they don't want to start him just yet. Um, again, you know, I don't work for... You know, New Orleans. So <laughs> that would be my decision now. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's a little, it's a little, it's a little difficult. It's a little kind of thing to say, but I, I think Zach the Mac, I would have to agree with you for sure about you know picking Hill over the perspective of being the starting quarterback. I think he's established. Um, he, like you said, he is comfortable in knowing the system. He's been with the system for the last what five, four, five years, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Comfortably, like four years, yeah. Yeah. So I mean, he's familiar with what Peyton likes to do. And I think even Peyton, them have a bond with each other at the moment still. So I think if he can come in with the mentality and, and training cap and saying, I got this now, it's my time. I got the feet to move around the pocket. I got the arm to actually oh, yeah. throw. And I got the, the team itself being comfortable with me and, you know, believing in me. So I'm going to shine out. And I, it is what it is. I think that's the main thing we're going to look at in the training cap and kind of go from there. So that would decide everything. Um Next thing uh, is an SG3 rant. Okay, you guys, I'm going to give the floor to SG3. We had a lot of crazy stuff happening this past week, and I'm going to let it be on the rant at the moment right now because if I had the rant, I'm going to say a lot of cuss words, and I just, you know, bad for the show at the moment right now, but I'm going to leave it to SG3. Yeah, do. real quick to tune in. I guarantee you, fans of Anthony's rant, it'd be a lot of uh, be, it'd be a lot of bleeps if you had that budget. I might as well just leave it at that. So we we'll definitely let SG3 take it because yes. we we both agree. I'm sure we both agree with some statements. Yeah, so. exactly. <laughs> so SG3, you got the floor, man. Take your rant. To Ryan Pace. <laughs> Already, you are the <laughs> biggest. Start there. <laughs> you ever walk God's hot, beautiful sun in, in the God's hot sun? We're the biggest thing you ever walk under God's hot sun to grace God's green earth. You, sir, have taken an organization and made it a laughing stock. Definitely. Bad. Listen, man. Bad. I'm going to tell you one thing. Let me, let me hit you with this. So, <laughs> cool, you, don't, you want to get rid of Trubisky because Trubisky didn't do anything for Chicago. Bye. Trubisky really much for Chicago. Everyone got mad at your biscuit signing. Cool. I completely get you with that. You messed up in 2017 when you got to add to Sean Watson. You know what? We're not even going to focus on my, main boy, on my main man, Patrick Mahomes, because my homeboy over here told me the kid loves Patrick Mahomes. We know that one. He loves from the bottom. <laughs> heck yeah. Heck yeah. All right. Cool. This man destroyed the Chicago Bears organization. Cool. I'll give you guys Khalil Mack. I'll give it to you. Gave us Allen Robinson. Awesome, fantastic. You though have almost in literally less than three years what you built, you destroyed. Right now, you have no wide receiving core. You know what, though? At this point, I'm gonna go back to the quarterback. Let me go back to the quarterback thing very quickly. Cool. So, you didn't want to mention Trubisky, who had a record of 25 and 21, by the way. It's not a losing record. Hello, people. It's not a losing record. Mm -hmm. That's number one. Yeah, the guy can't throw for anything. The guy overthrows everybody. And then, on top of that, he likes to throw to the Green Bay Packers defense or defenders all the time. But at the same time, though, you go in and find Andy Dalton for ten million. Oh Where? My God. Where do you get the mindset to sign Andy Dalton for ten million? I'm not saying Andy Dalton's the worst quarterback in the NFL. They, and believe me, there's a lot of worse quarterbacks than him. But this is probably one of them. Not yep. going to say anything. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. No, I, there's a lot of worse quarterbacks than Dalton. I feel that though that the Bears could have probably have gone after Marcus Mariota. Heck, I believe that the Bears could have even gone after Derek Carr. You know what though? I completely get it. We had our all our eggs in, in one basket named Russell Wilson. I completely one hundred percent get it. You know what though? There's a man out there, and I'm gonna say this name because I really, I really want to say this name. There's a man out there who's been begging the NFL to play. Why not go for him? Supposedly, everyone keeps saying the fact that this man is ready. Supposedly, everyone keeps saying the fact that this man has many tryouts and that this man could actually play. That, name, that man's name is Colin Kaepernick. Mm -hmm. Why did you get him on the phone? I can guarantee you we would have done 10 times better than what Andy Dalton's going to be doing for 10 million. 100 times. 100 times. A million times. Yes. Super Bowl wise. Super Bowl time wise. That's. This <sighs> is not a. Nothing. The fact that first he's 10 million. Last year, he signed with the Dallas Cowboys for $9 million less. 
He did worse with the Cowboys. Thank you. He wasn't even a starter. Exactly. Now you guarantee him a starting <laughs> spot. He tackle. That was that was your pitch talk. On top of that, though, you didn't even have the guts and the heart to stand in front of the camera and say, "Hey, guys, I signed this guy. I made my mistake. He's my starting quarterback." No, you let him go out and take the take the heat for you. <laughs> you <laughs> sir deserve to be fired, and I'm not the one to for anybody's job. I'm not going to sit here and say, dude, you deserve to be fired. Do that. You deserve to be fired. No. This man deserves to be fired. Mm-hmm. Flat out. Just, if, I was, if I was Virginia McCaskey, I would literally bring this man in on, on Monday. Literally. So he signed Andy Dalton for $10 million. Where was your mindset? Oh, cool. You didn't have a mindset. What's <laughs> to you? Pack your so, stuff and get out. So real quick, do you think that, uh, just to add to your rant, you think that Andy Dalton won out of the signing or the Bears won out of the signing? <laughs> <laughs> This guy got 10 million, bro. What? That's amazing. The wow. Bears and wins out of the signing because he just got he just bagged himself nine extra bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. To add to I don't, that. I, no lie, no. Real quick, to add to that, I don't think even I don't think he begged. I think Ryan was like, mm, uh, oh, dude, you can throw down a field, kind of, sort of, a little bit better than Mitchell. So let's give you a little bit raise. I mean, at least you can throw down a field, maybe. That's but let's crazy. go. So yeah, yeah. We'll go ahead. The man just had a concussion. Like this is the man. C.D. Lamb. This is a man that had my, that had Mike Gallup. This is a man that had Amari Cooper. On top of that, this is also the same man that had uh, <laughs> A.J. Green in, 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 in Cincinnati. No, 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 no. I'm talking about last season. Oh, okay, about, okay. Go ahead, go ahead. Last season. Talking about last season. Yeah. With the Dallas Cowboys, let's be honest, they have a way more stacked offense than Chicago. You mean to tell me you believe this man's going to throw to Allen into the Hundred percent every single time. Get out of here. No, that that army ain't the same as it was three years ago. No way. No. But no. we're going to try for for one year for ten million plus three million incentives because that's Ooh. the right decision to make. I didn't know about that's the. the I didn't really not even know about the incentives, but honestly, okay. Yeah, it's three million. It's a three million incentives. Who knows what the incentives are? Yeah. You win five games. You get yeah. <laughs> that's his incentive. Win. Get five games, get at least five touchdowns. He got your, you got an extra three million. You would let go Kyle Fuller. And I get it. Salary cap is a problem this year. Salary cap is affecting everybody. Heck, New Orleans Saints would let go of almost half the good squad. Cool. I get it. You let go of Kyle Fuller. Maybe he didn't want to restructure his contract. Maybe before you start realizing maybe he's not being the same Kyle Fuller. Today you signed Desmond Trufant. Cool. I'll give you. It's kind of equal. I prefer I prefer Fuller over over True Fox, except on the zone coverage, which last year the Bears did a lot of zone, so I can see that happen. <clears throat> However, though, you want to let almost one of your number one pass rushers let go, just walk away like he's nothing. Come on, man! Come on, man! And who are you going to replace him with? Oh, nobody. Oh, okay, cool. That makes a lot of sense. We have no safety. <laughs> we have no quarterback. Yeah. At this point, the only saving grace that you have, my good friend, are two things. Number one, if you can sign Kenny Galladay, which I highly doubt that you can, because it doesn't really have to do a lot of good math right now, because you've already been against the Capitol. God knows how long. Definitely not. They're they're up there just, I don't even know. They're up there just doing something. Dude, they're hoping. They're praying. I mean, they're just throwing up, they're throwing up something to pray in Lord Jesus Savior to me- fix their mess up this freaking offseason, which is, I'm sorry, you can't, you can't fix it. You're, it's demolished. Uh-huh. You Time's ticking. You only got so much time left now. Yeah. <clears throat> the only other thing that can maybe save your job is if you get the trade of all trades, you get the highest commodity of everybody, even though, again, they're probably targeting this out there, but the fact that everybody still wants them. The man's name is Sean Watson. Yep. If you you know what? Maybe if you even get Colin Kaepernick. I'll give you that. Maybe you even get Colin Kaepernick. Maybe that can save a job, but at this point, though, consider yourself, my friend. Start packing your things. Start start putting yourself in a little box. Because believe me, at the end of the season, not even coaching Carroll is going to sell you. Because believe me, you're going to get fired. Yeah, and and if you don't Virginia McCaskey sell the team. Somebody who actually cares about the damn bear. And I think, no lie, in my perspective in this, Ryan Pace, you better not enter the streets of Chicago. Because I swear to God, if you enter the streets of Chicago or anywhere, any guy, I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna say I'm sorry right now. But any goddamn place in the state of Illinois, if you show your damn face, your ass 
It's gonna be egged. It's gonna be punched. It's gonna be slapped. It's gonna be kicked. Even if there ain't no kick me sign in the back of your back, you're gonna be kicked. Period. So you better pack your stuff and get out of the state because your ass is is done. It's done. You're over. I'll tell you one thing right now. There's one <laughs> thing that's gonna save him. Believe it. There's one thing that's gonna save him, and that was the signing of Mike Patin. Remember the name Mike Patin. That man right there alone may save his job. But if it was up to me for what you did as the, for the signing of the quarterback, when at first though, when February third happened, the first thing you told everybody, every news media, everybody, the first thing you said was, "We're going to put everything on the quarterback position because that's what we want." Mm-hmm. So what do you do? You go get Andy Dalton. <laughs> <laughs> Out of anybody in the NFL that has a great arm and cannot avoid getting sacked, you, you grab. Soon? Mike was about to be released. Why not wait for him? Oh, I forgot. It's too much over the cap. 800,000 more, though, to be exact. But you know who's doing the math? I'm done with that, man. At this point, like I said, if I was Virginia McCaskey, come here, son. Pack yourself and get. Agreed. All done with that. That's all you got. You heard it here. SG3's rant. Now, moving along, you guys, Reject fans, moving on to boxing real quick before we go into NCAA March Madness, because that is on the schedule. Boxing, we were announced, we were given the major announcement, I'm not too sure if it was Tuesday or Wednesday, but I'm pretty sure it was Tuesday. Uh, Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua have agreed to a two-fight deal to unify the heavyweight titles. Both fights are, according to what they were trying to do, the promoters, are going to be expecting a 2021. Not sure how that's going to fit, but if they can, props to them, which I don't think so. Now, how great could this fight be, SG3? Firstly, I see it happening if it goes June and December. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I can go with that, depending on how bad the fight was. I mean, depending on how the June fight was, if they go 12 rounds, which, I, to be honest, I don't think so. I mean, I think Fear is going to give them the what the you know what I mean? But, I mean, as far as it's concerned, that does make a lot of sense. But how great could this fight be? <clears throat> to be honest with you, the first fight, I don't feel like it's going to be a slobber knocker or, like, as most people say, a classic. Okay. <clears throat> Actually, you know what? I feel the first fight's going to be more of a classic than the second fight because I feel the second fight, Joshua's not really going to change the strategy, but Fury's going to be more prepared. Okay. Makes sense. If I was to say, if I was to give you my prediction right now, I think the first fight Fury wins by late knockout. Okay. Second fight though is going to come a lot quicker. Got you. Kind of like Dante. I feel you. Any reason why though? We know Anthony's jaw. Yeah, it ain't that great. <clears throat> Fury's got a uh, definitely got a mean hook and and uppercut and jab. So yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> All hey. the above. Uh, Zach the Mac, what about yourself, man? What do you, what's your opinion on the fight? How great do you think the fight could be? Uh, I think it would be definitely, mm, it'd be definitely an anticipated fight. I'm anticipated to see it. I'm definitely gonna, I'm willing to definitely pay a pay per view. Shoot, I don't even care. Um, I think it'll be good. I think it'll be a knockout. I'll go ahead and say that. And I definitely think Fury will knock him out. I don't think no first rounds, but mm. it'll be, I think it'll be a little bit of a nail biter. It gotcha. should be interesting. Um, if we're gonna, I mean, I'll wait, we're gonna pick, you know, but it's not me. It's gonna be a good fight, though. Yeah. Sounds good. (laughs) All right. That is, that's where you guys got it. Uh, now we'll move on to Death of the March Madness. Of course, this happened during the week. I think it was Thursday, if I'm not mistaken, by SG3 standards. Uh, SG3 and the updates on March Madness. Who left? Who got eliminated? Which game was good? All that good stuff. What are we looking forward to? Go ahead. So, before I continue, before I say, I first want to apologize to all the fans because I actually made so March Madness, uh, the bracket officially starts started today. Yesterday was basically like the final four spot to get into the bracket. Gotcha. Uh, Michigan State University. To all the fans out there from Michigan State, <clears throat> go Trojans. My bad. They lost. By, they, I think they lost by like one point. Go. No. Sad. Yeah, they lost. Unfortunately, not in the tournament. Uh, Loyola, Chicago. Ooh. Kansas today. Uh-huh. They advanced. They won. Nice. Also, though, 
Illinois University, U of I, advances, meaning on Sunday, Chicago versus Illinois. Let's see who goes next. Oh, mm. who, who, let's see who represents who represents Illinois. Illinois. Yeah, exactly. Right. Okay. That's cool. A good game. That's All right. A good game. I like from what I saw today. I'm technically supposed to be working, but <laughs> so I kind of watched a little bit of the game. Um, I feel that Loyola's defense is really good. I feel that they could actually keep the pressure on. They, they could probably do something. I haven't seen the weight in the middle right now. It's balling, but honestly, though, man, um, it's gonna be a tight game. Yeah. I'm really excited for this game. I'm already set. Sunday, I'm watching. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. That game. Uh, currently, right now, hold on. Let me give you guys some more updates. Give me a quick second, y'all. Uh, also, today, you had Wisconsin versus North Carolina. Wisconsin has eliminated North Carolina. The Chargers are out of the out of the bracket. Mm. Yeah. 85-62. Currently, right now, it's Villanova versus Winthrop, 45-41. Mm-hmm. Currently starting the second uh, the second half. Mm-hmm. Uh, Baylor eliminated Hartford. Not surprised there. Uh, <clears throat> North Texas eliminates Purdue. Okay. Texas Tech eliminates Utah State. Not surprised. Arkansas eliminates Colgate. Not surprised. Florida eliminates Virginia Tech. Eh. This is all the shocker to everybody in the date of March Madness bracket. Your bracket, I guarantee you, is busted. If no one did this one, believe me, your bracket's busted. <laughs> Dang. Oral Roberts beat Ohio State 75-72. That's an upset. That's yeah. got to be the upset of the day. That's got to be the upset of the day. Yeah. Per, uh, per Bleacher Report, only after that game, only 0.42% of the brackets were still alive. Ooh, wow. Oh, that's shit. Wild. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah. So after that wow. game, literally, almost the whole... <laughs> Almost the whole country, whoever did the record on the bleach report, was eliminated. Damn. If I had to guess anything, if I had to guess anything, you said North Carolina last today too, though, right? <clears throat> if I had to guess anything, I would have said a lot of people picked Ohio State and North Carolina because Duke not being in there, and Oregon not being in there, and a lot of teams not being Oregon in there. Oregon State's still in. They beat Tennessee. Oh, Oregon's still in there? Wow, okay. okay. Tennessee. Oklahoma yeah. State won. Uh, okay. Rutgers beat Clemson. Not surprised there. Clemson's more of a football, football yeah. college than anything. Um, Houston beat Cleveland. Not surprised there. Currently, yeah. you have West Virginia versus Moorhead State. Uh, currently, 38-31 at the half. With literally 33 minutes and 30, 30 seconds left, you have San Diego State versus Syracuse. Syracuse right now is defeating San Diego State 66-48 to with three minutes and 50 seconds left in the game. Oh, so, <clears throat> we'll see what happens there. Okay. Um, I have a feeling though that maybe Syracuse is already headed as advanced. That's what I got. I got. I'm calling right now. I got West Virginia all the way. He's got West Virginia. All the way. <laughs> okay. The upset uh, of the year. The upset of the year. West Virginia all the way. <laughs> I don't know. He's going West Virginia. The upset of the year. Tony the kid. I know you really don't. I know you're not really into it. But who do you got? <laughs> I don't. I swear to God, I don't know. I don't know. I mean. Let's be honest. Like who, who, in your guys' opinion, I'm gonna leave it to you guys. Well, SG three, if you're watching this, uh, <laughs> who, do you, who, as far as your opinion, who seems to be the favorite in March Madness? Uh, record, as, record aside, I mean, obviously records can kind of, you know, tell the most tale. But obviously, who's on the positive note as far as you know, moving forward? Who's been like on the streak? Good, a good set team wise. Dude, I don't even know, honestly, man, because everyone's been balling out. Oh, okay. Was well, that competitive this year? I mean, I would say so because if Duke ain't in it, North Carolina, well, I don't know if you what happened, but uh, if they're both really not the main name of the conversation of this March Madness, yeah. it's a really co- competitive college year then. If, if either of those two weren't going to win, I was going to put my money on, on Ohio as well, and that's why I'm, I got shocked by that news too because gotcha. I, I was going to check later on the stats on that, but – that's why I, I don't I don't know maybe if not West Virginia. Wow, um, good deal. I don't know, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's very it's very maybe, hard, I guess. Maybe maybe hey, man, scratch that Illinois. You know, I got a roof for Illinois at this point. So. Oh, <laughs> best of, yeah, best of whoever wins in Illinois. Best of whoever wins in Illinois. I guess that that's be my representation. Sunday. Very we'll good. see. I'll tell you again. All right. All right, we'll keep in touch on that, you guys. We'll look on. We'll look at March Madness. Uh, keep going, moving forward on that one. We'll discuss that a little bit later this week. 
Uh, now, moving on to news-wise. UFC and now some cool major news. Now, if you guys didn't know, but UFC 261 is set in stone at Tampa Bay. No, Jacksonville, Florida. My, my, my bad, my bad. Jacksonville, Florida. April, April, April 24th. Our stadium at full capacity of fans. Full capacity. Yes. There's no limits. There's no, I believe there's no mask, if I'm not mistaken, in the state of Florida. And we're going to have UFC screaming fans. Amount, yes. I'm pretty sure the amount is going to be off the charts. I'm pretty sure it's going to set a record, if I'm not mistaken. I'm, I'm just, sure I'm prediction so on that one. <clears throat> first things first. Main event, Usman, welterweight champion, of course. Is going against Masvidal for the rematch. Number two. Thank you, freaking Jesus. Now, I don't want to go into detail so much about the fight itself because I know for a fact we're going to review this freaking match itself in general. But heads on, winner winner it is. SG3, who do you think will win that one? I'm going to go with the rest. I'm going to go with Usman. Okay. I feel like I feel like unfortunately Mafadal looks so much for the knockout. And don't get me wrong, man, he's got a good counter to the to the to the ground game. Mm-hmm. But I feel that though that this time though, Usman's gonna really try to go for the ground game and he's gonna dominate with the wrestling man. Okay. Alright. Zach the Mac, who do you got in this rematch? My man? Hello. I really expected uh, SG3 to be the devil's advocate over there, but uh, I guess I'll play that role today. Um, <laughs> I really do think that Masvidal, uh, I hope he can prove something, bro. You don't get a second chance for nothing, man. I mean, obviously, he's got to, bro. He's got to do something, bro. Usman's undefeated, I believe, right? Thus far, yes. He's got to, and he's already beat him, so he's got to, like, He's got to prove himself, and he's got to take him off that totem pole. He can fight, bro. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Mazda can definitely fight. He's a dog, bro. He got, you know, he, what, doesn't he have the uh, what, the, the badass champ right now? Not no, no he more. Lost he lost that against uh, uh, in the first that's fight. right. He lost that in the first fight. So, But, Son I mean, come on. Well, well, with that being said, I still believe in my boy Masvidal. I'll go for him, bro. I got you, Usman. Nothing against Usman at all. He's a dog. He's a beast. He's definitely, he's definitely the you know favorite sit in my fight, obviously, because he's going in obviously as a winner. But we all saw no comparison, different weight classes, but we all saw Connor and uh, Pierre fight. So anything can happen, bro, with the rematch. So that was a first round knockout. That was a first round knockout. So <laughs> that, was, that was a second round knockout. They made it to the first round. Yeah, yeah. second round. Knockout. Now. Uh, I got Jorge in this one myself. I'm going to join you on that, Zach the Mac. I'm going to join oh, you on that okay, one. See? I got see? Jorge. The reason being I got Jorge is because that boy is going to be driven for this fight. The Damn first dude. fight, I'm in my perspective of it, as a, as an athlete myself, Now I'm going to say a best one, okay? I'm not going to give myself going like that. But as an athlete, especially yeah, with person, a person who cuts weight and gains weight and all that type of stuff, it affects the body. Yes, I give it to Jorge for going about losing 40 pounds in order for you to fight Usman in the last minute. Okay, I give yeah. you that. All benefits to you as a fighter, you got to be prepared. The only issue is, is that as a fighter, that losing those 40 pounds takes a toll on the mind, takes a toll on the body. You can tell already inside that match, he was not conditioned very well. Usman, uh, understandably, going into that fight, my, I already knew his game set was put pressure on him, put him against the cage. He's not going to have no energy at all whatsoever to keep me off of him. And I'm going to pound him against the cage as much as possible. That was a smart plan on Usman. That was a, that was a MMA fighter type of strategy. All, <laughs> all credit to Usman for doing so. That's how he won. But Thanks. the fact that you give Jorge time and a time schedule and a timely matter to set his body correctly and after that fight he was already training his condition from day one after that fight he's driven it's going to be a whole different aspect to this fight he already has hands he showed you he got knees 
He's smart enough to defend the takedown. The only it's gonna be a phenomenal match. I'm gonna look. Uh, credit to SG3. Usman's strategy is to definitely put you against the cage, do the wrestling, keep you where you are. If Masvidal, if Usman is successful doing that, he will win. If Masvidal is successful at keeping the takedown away, <clears throat> Usman Jorge has a chance. Just saying. All credit to Jorge. I'm definitely gonna root for my man. I mean, real quick to add, like, I, I yeah, I'm going to take my decision, but just so you guys know, you guys know how I get down. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to place no money on this fight, but... Uh, sure, <laughs> okay. Yeah, you know okay. what I'm saying? You know what I'm yeah. saying? Cause, no, because I want, I'm pretty sure that's going to be a loss of money. Like, I, even, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? I can't, I hate that. I'm not going to bet against him, you know, that's the champ, like, right. you know, he's cold, so... But, but I gotta go just for Mazda Dog in this yeah, thing, so. Agree. Yeah. I think I think this fight's gonna be way more different than the first fight. I think that's why Usman was so adamant of saying let's run around number two and UFC itself. We wanna see this match just because we wanna see both fighters at their prime, at their best, going into this fight and see, clearly say who won. Not have an argument and saying, Oh well, Masvidal lost forty pounds, he wasn't all there and all that type of stuff like that, like I yeah, just stated. No. So no, this just clears the slate. If if Jorge loses, it is what it is. I'm not mad at it. I'm not. Usman's a great champion. As far as Usman losing as well, same thing. Not mad at him. Great champion, regardless that it is in the end of the day. But Jorge all the way. Uh, on the co-main event, we finally get the the Chinese phenomenon. The Chinese phenomenon. The first ever Chinese UFC champion, and it had to be the woman. That's awesome. Shout out to the ladies. That's right. <laughs> Zhang Willie. If I'm not saying it correctly, Zhang Willie. I, I hate un, unknown names that are not regular to me. <laughs> Zhang <laughs> Willie, for sure. Strawberry champion versus Rose Namajunas or Namahunas, Namahanas, uh, for the Strawberry Championship. I'm going to expect to fight. Totally looking forward to that one, my, my aspect. As far as winning. Zach the Mac, who do you got on that one? Uh, I'm gonna go with the defending champ. Okay. Go with I'm Zach. Definitely with the defending champ. I definitely seen her fight. I uh, definitely, <laughs> I definitely seen her fight. She's a dog. She's a beast. Straight up. Um, she's definitely can. She's yeah. I got the defending champ, man. I've seen her. She definitely got submission skills. She's definitely defending her spot, man. She's not. She's not going for an L. I'll put it that way. She's That's not going true. for it. Agreed. Especially with the whole uh, Vans coming back too, that energy, man. You know, the fighters are definitely going to feed up that energy. Uh, agreed, agreed. SG3, who do you got on that one? Zhang or Rose, my man? You know what, man? I'm, I'm going to go with the champ. Champ so far, you know, she looks good, man. Yeah. Champ, champ looks, I could say, just champ looks good. Very good. Now, next one into that. Valentina Chevchenko for the Flyweight Champion versus Jessica Andrade. Now Ooh. we know we know we all know I tried anything recently lost if I'm not mistaken the the fight before but she has a shot at the title I think that's going to be okay decently well uh Shevchenko is definitely on the run at the moment right now she is on the roll herself uh Zach the Mac who do you got on that one um I t- say your last j- say your last name again Jenna Jenna Jing Jenna Jingo <laughs> Shevchenko yeah, yes, her. I got that one. I don't know Jenna how I got Jenna the name Jenna. right, but I got it right. <laughs> Yeah, you, you being a name hacker, I don't know how you got it right, but yeah, that lady, the, the Jenna Check, yes, her. No, I've seen her fight though before too. She's, I have to, yeah, we have to go with her, definitely. Okay. She's, she's, I mean, is she gonna, there, is the champion, is the defending champion? No, right. Yeah, she's defending? the champion, oh. she's defending her title. Okay, then yeah, she'll be straight. She's got it. You know what I'm saying? In the bag. <laughs> two, two defending champ right here, two for two. I mean, uh, uh, Usman's the only one going to lose that champ tonight. I mean, that night it sounds like. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> SG3, who do you got in that one? Shevchenko or Andrade? Shevchenko. Shevchenko. That's right. Shevchenko. Very good. We'll talk about more of that fight later on, depending on how things roll out. Uh, now, still on UFC news, Costa is out versus Whitaker for the fight. Obviously, some health issues going on there. Uh, I don't know why. I, I, I don't really look at it. I think he's just scared, in my opinion, but that's just me. After uh, he lost the uh, style bender, you that's know, he's right. just like, oh, my, 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 my arm wasn't very good. My mind, sorry, wasn't great. I, uh, but I lost. 
Um, <laughs> That's what he says. I, I don't know. I, I tried. <laughs> I drank a lot of wine, alcoholic. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. That's exactly what his excuse was. All right, shut your ass up. Uh, right, April April seventeenth was originally for the fight. Hopefully, we'll kind of figure out see who fights Whitaker. Actually, I think they already announced it. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's um, Caparola. I don't know. I forgot who they put in there, but there is already a chosen fighter. Google it. Look okay. it up. Y'all see who it is. It's versus Whitaker. Uh, last, lastly of the show. The craziest week of them all, led by NFL free agency. Now, for this one, I'm going to let SG3 handle this one because, my gosh, was there a lot of moves. And I did not. I, man, keep it up with them. My dang old self was way too much putting it on the freaking post of our Instagram. And I had a headache just listening to it and watching it. So, SG3, uh, what we got? All right, man, we got a doozy. Um, I'm not going to be saying all of them. But I'm going to be <laughs> So, number one, Texans signed Tyrod Taylor. As we all know from my aunt Rhett earlier, Bears signed Andy Dalton for one year, $10 million, but $3 million in incentives. Uh, let me give you another second. Uh, currently, the Bears are shopping Anthony Miller. So, Anthony Miller may become either a free agent or maybe on the trade block. Bob Miller has gone back to uh, back to Denver. Now, we're going to go with the team in the AFC East. Because this team has just been lighting it up. Everyone's been, you know, just saying, man, they're spending one and all tomorrow. The Patriots signed Hunter Henry. They signed Juno. They signed Hunter Henry from the Chargers. Juno Smith from the from the Tennessee Titans. Nelson Aguilar from the uh, from the Raiders. Also signed um, Ju- uh, Judon. Judon, yeah, uh, Matthew Judon to a four year deal. Um, also as well, give me one more second. Hold on, let me see another one. Um, Jags signed. Uh, defensive tackle Roy Robert Harris. That's actually an ex Chicago Bear. Uh, gave me another one. Let me see. Uh, Aaron Jones resigned with the with the Green Bay Packers for four years, forty eight million. Supposedly there's some weird stuff going on with that. That he actually may be out after two years. So supposedly they're saying something in the in the um, in 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 the works is not right with that with that contract. But they're saying with that in two years you may actually be gone. Uh, Mario Edwards resigned was resigned with the Bears. Um, one more. Give me another one. Hold on. Give me another quick second. Um, what's another one? As we know, once again, okay, excuse me. Currently, Kenny Gatherday has visited the New York Giants, the Chicago Bears, and the Baltimore Ravens. From what I've heard, Juju uh, Smith Schuster has returned back to the uh, to the to the pay, to the Pittsburgh Steelers, mm-hmm. which I really question why when he actually had a list from the excuse me, he actually had offers from both. The Kansas City Chiefs and the Baltimore Ravens. Yep. I honestly don't get it why, but I can kind of understand where you're saying you know what, we'll want the band back together one more time. Ben Roethlisberger, Juju Smith Schuster, but when you were the number one wide receiver, my guy, we didn't produce much. That's all I got to say. Raiders reached one year deal with John Brown, so that means the ex Buffalo Bill is now a Raider. Mm-hmm. Um, also, as well, uh, you have Marvin Jones going to the Jacksonville Jaguars, Jacoby Brissett going to the Dolphins. <clears throat> oh, I actually, oh, excuse me. Bills agreed to one year deal with Emmanuel Sanders, so kind of averaging, um, getting more to, uh, to more for, with uh, with Stephon Diggs. So we're going to see how that goes. Chiefs released Damian Williams, so that means that probably Clyde Edwards alert impressed people a lot more than what we thought. Um, what's another one? Kyle Long has re- has come out of retirement after one season and has signed. With the Kansas City Chiefs, Minnesota, <laughs> Minnesota signs Patrick Peterson. That's the ex cornerback for the for the uh, for the Arizona Cardinals for one year, ten million. I really question that one. Mm-hmm. Um, Curtis Samuel has signed 30, a three year, thirty four point five million dollars deal with the Washington Football Team. That's going to be a very scary wide receiver core. Yeah, the lead plan to you, very scary. Uh, they also signed the Fitz Magic, so I don't know how I feel about that one. That's his ninth football team. Team all all time, so that man's been more. That man's the that man from coast to coast. Literally has gone from coast to coast. So we'll see how that goes um, there. Um, so far, also one other thing. AJ this Green. Not a free, there's not a free agency thing, but this is kind of something different. Deshaun Watson currently has seven allegations against them Ugh. for sexual misconduct. No, no, so, no. Let, let, uh, let me speak on that real fast. Let me have a little, little small little rant on this one. Now, 
As far as okay. what, as far as far as this is concerned, I don't want to speak ill of the women in general. If these allegations are true, then yes, Deshaun Watson deserves punishment. Now, I, I don't, I can't speculate, and I can't say anything on that perspective. And I don't want mm-hmm. the ladies. Please don't take this as a bad, bad term towards you on my end, because of all people of all know about any of these type of allegations, I will be on your side one hundred percent. The only issue that I have is that the timely matter, all this has come occurred. If this is all false, if really these reporters are doing what they have to do and finding out the truth about this, and if they really find out that these rumors were spread based on the Texans themselves as an organization, my my thinking, because I'm always a good conspiracy theory on this, if this was drawn up by them... By making this put out there, so that way they can say, all right, Deshaun, you want to request for a trade? Bam. This is what happened. We kept this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is breaking. Hold on, wait. Uh-huh. There will now be 12 lawsuits against Watson. Okay. Now let's keep Ooh. adding. Now let's Damn. keep adding. So all of this, if... Texans, this was your punishment for Deshaun because of the fact that he wanted out of the team. He had all these issues with you guys because you didn't respect him enough and all that type of stuff like that. If this is what you're doing because you're salty as heck and you lost all your pretty much game players and moved around anywhere else and you're mad at the fact that he was the naming person that spoke up about all of them, that's horrible. If this was in order for him not to come to Chicago, that's horrible. That is by far despicable on their end. Because we all know these organizations have so much power. They have so much things and their agendas they would like to do in order to get a, a, a player to stay with the team and say, Hey, Deshaun, we're, we're behind your back, man. We'll help you through this whole process. Sign with us an extension. We'll give you guaranteed money in order for you to pay the lawyers and do what you got to do. We got your back. That's jacked up. That is jacked up if that becomes the case. I'm looking into this very thoroughly. I'm going to look at my, personally myself, I want to look at these allegations. I want to look at all this research and trying to see how that goes myself. But that's where I'm at with this. As far as to the ladies who are coming out, speaking up, and if this is truly true, power to you. Speak up, say your name, don't let any of this let go. I'm not saying don't talk, I'm not saying anything like that because I don't, personally don't know the allegations and I'm not going to sit there and say don't speak and don't speak up about your issues. You have a problem, say something. Yeah. If this is the true case, I'm glad you're getting your word, I'm glad you're saying some stuff, I'm glad you're not letting this pass over because of a character or a person is now in the limelight of celebrity status and think that he's untouchable. Not at all. Go for it. That's all I got to say. SG3. Okay. Um, Just to add real quick, though, my bad. Just stop the oh, rant. Um, they, does Texas have the death penalty? I'm Don't aware of yet. I think so. I think they still do. I will look at that. Up so as with that issue. being said, um, look, if look, no, let's just put it this way. We'll just, I mean, look, I get a little cutthroat, guys. Anthony, you know how I am, but all I'm saying, if it's true, if they believe the death penalty, um, you know, you get what you deserve. If it's not true, then I suggest you lawyer the hell up and fight that case. <laughs> with that being said, so. Uh, I, as you were you talking know, about that, uh, I'm gonna say yes. Capital punishment is a legal penalty in the state of Texas. And I'm pretty so sure, you know, rape and molestation is high up on the list of the things to be oh. <laughs> dealt with. So, with that being said, yeah. you know, go ahead, SP. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, to kind of go on the lighter side of the news. Oh. <laughs> right, Jason. Jason. <laughs> yeah. Kenyon Drake agreed you to know. terms with the Raiders. So, you're not looking at basically Drake and Josh. Uh, bringing the running back tandem and, uh, <laughs> nice. Uh, Kyle Rudolph has named the New York Giants as his next team. Oh, makes sense. We'll see how, how, that, see how that one goes. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, Ingram's the starting tight end. Rudolph can at least be back up and say, you know, I got, I still got good hands. I can still be a positive side on the line itself from guarding and all that type of stuff like that. So. I get that. I get that. 
Um, you also have Philip Lindsay got let go recently by the De- uh, by the Denver Broncos. He right now has a home already with the with the Houston Texans. He found one right away. Also Crazy. recently, Seahawks keep Carson uh, Chris Carson on the three year deal. So that's so. Oh, last but not least, AJ Green is no longer a Bengal. Mm. He has now gone south. He's the goal. Arizona. Oh, the Cardinals all of a sudden coming up with some teammates. So mm. at this point, they're now saying that this is that. if the man himself, the man with the dreads, Larry Fitzgerald comes back, that maybe Whoa. they got a good quarterback. <laughs> do what he's got to do, not in the south. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Watch out for yeah, watch out for his own. Straight up. All right. Now, we are at, at the end of our ropes of the show. I would like to congratulate those who are signed to proper teams for themselves. Oh, wait a minute. Wait go a minute. I forgot one more. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is for my co-host, the man of all men. And this show if he wants to consider himself that because, you know, he doesn't know much about football. Okay. <laughs> Mitchell Trubisky has signed with the <laughs> Buffalo Bills. Oh, that's right. <laughs> hey, that's right. Uh, that's right. We almost forgot to pronounce. Yeah, that's right. Yes, he did. A freaking... So pretty oh, sure he wow. start something where we're going to get Tony the Kid a Buffalo Bills jersey for Mitchell Trubisky. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> no. This is only the Super Bowl. No, I'm good. No. Look, 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 look. I'm gonna rebut I'm gonna rebut this. I'm gonna chime in on this signing here. Now I, <laughs> congratulations to Mitchell Trubisky for finding a team because no lie, I thought he wasn't gonna sign with the team. I'm sorry to say. I thought you were not going to sign at all to any team because I didn't think any team would want your sorry butt. Now, the fact that I said sorry butt means that you're you're on a a team that was on a positive road last season and definitely a favorable team for last season to go all the way. You're now on a team that's going to be have expectations of you, which you are not going to grant at all whatsoever. You may play well in the system as far as sneak peeks, you know, court, I mean, quarterback sneaks. You may play well in the run game, going outside a little bit, da da da. They may kind of do some trick plays with you, but I'm sorry. You're not going to get any position at a quarterback unless, unless of an injury happens. But even then, you may get half of that game, someone signs the next day, and they become the actual new quarterback. That's just me. Because now that I now that you're out of Chicago, I'm not defending you no more, man. You out. You gone, man. He's gonna get injured. He's gonna get injured. Mid season. <laughs> first game. First game. First quarter. He's gonna get hit. He out. Just like Patrick Holmes this next season, he's gonna get hit. He's out. He gone. He done. Patrick is out. He ain't gonna win nothing. Kyle Long is gonna be guarding him. Kyle Long is gonna be like, I'm not strong enough no more. I lost I lost weight. Bam! There goes the defender. Kyle Long, you're going to let that defender go through. Bye, Patrick gets hit. Like Zach Max said, Bilo! Boom! Broken arm. He done. Done for the rest of his career. He out. He might as well He might as well invest really fully in the Mets because that's where you're going to stay at from now on. That's all I got to put about that. So go ahead, SG3. Hey. I got four. I forgot two more. I forgot two more, guys. Oh, okay. Number one. Jared Cook has signed with the Chargers. Really? Mm, okay. That's not bad. I said, look, the Chargers are doing some stuff, man. Don't sleep on the yeah, Chargers. Yeah, they oh, yeah. I like that coming back. I like Bosa coming back. Bosa, I think, is really going to make some noise. I'm going to say, you guys probably not going to believe me on this one, but I've, I've been doing my homework on this one. A lot of people have been catching it up and talking about it. They've been talking about the team in the East. Talking about the team in the in the east, upper east of, of, of the United States of America called the New England Patriots. Oh, they're... Hmm. they're, they're doing... However, though, 
I'm not too big of a fan for the signings that they just did. Um, Why do you, I like see? their. Oh yeah, go ahead. I don't. I don't like any of the signings, dude. You know why? All of the players mm-hmm. they got are role players. Mm-hmm. So yeah. they need okay. someone else to make them look bigger. Yeah. To make them look better. Okay. When you put it that way, I agree. Yeah. 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 When you put it that way, I agree. Yeah. 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 I agree. Hundred percent. Also, still don't have a running game in New England. Nope. There's no running back. Yeah. You're right. When you put it that way, yeah. When you think about it realistically, they are kind of supporting characters. Um. And there's not really a main character to support besides Bill Belichick, and he's not on the field. So, mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I feel, that they, I feel, they may be third in the AFC East this season. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. No, uh, I'm a third between Miami and we in between them. Miami and them may be going head to head for second and third. I don't see them taking first place from the from the Bills. <clears throat> if they have Trubisky okay. as quarterback, wow. if they have That's Trubisky, what... if they if someone if Allen gets injured, knock on wood, definitely knock on my head for that one. If Allen gets injured for that and Trubisky is a strong quarterback, yeah, they're not going nowhere. But if the Bills stay positive and they stay on the same path they were last year, Bills going to take the division. I can definitely agree with you when it comes to second and third place for New England. New England will be giving them the run of their money just because of the signings. I think with with key, not saying key players, but yes, with backups like that, for some odd reason, Belichick does well. But then again, you had Tom Brady as your quarterback, so I don't know where this leads you with a new season without Tom Brady. I think Belichick was trying to make a statement this year of signing like God knows how many players he signed this season. And say, whoa, 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 I'm not letting Tom Brady go to the Super Bowl again. Blah, 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 blah. That's going to be a lie. Um, right. But and oh, that's, that's, what it is. Is, that's why I feel a little bit uncomfortable with some of the trades. Because as as them re-signing Cam, mm-hmm. it was interesting to me because it was such a bad year. Right. And it's like, if you guys are getting all these pickup like side characters to support Cam Newton, you guys already, like, we're back where we started last year. Because it's like, can Cam do it again? And it's like the answer is no going into this year. He can't. And it's like you gave him a whole new roster to do it again. Can he, like, we're back here again. Like, is he really going to do it again? That's why it's like I'm real iffy with what they did. That's why I agree with that shit three. It's like their, their signings were very weird. So it's like are they setting up for someone else? But it's just like you just signed Cam again for the – it was a longer – I don't know was it the same contract. It was one year or two years again. I think it was two years, I think, no? I think two years, yeah. Yeah. Well, wait. What, Cam signing, signing off? You know, he signed off for one more year. Yeah, about right. One more year. So, kind of for more money. Right? Oh, okay, okay. Right. Oh, that's right. Okay, my bad. So, yeah. With that being said, though, it's just like it's. I don't know. It's, it's weird. I don't. I don't know what they're gonna do. I don't know. What we're we're gonna see. We gotta see what they're gonna do. We got you know. Yeah. <laughs> Unless he's gonna coach his way all the way to the playoffs, he's got it. <laughs> <laughs> we shall see. Even the guys that got on defense, dude, they're they're most. Excuse me. Even the guys that got on defense, most teams, and mostly they're like role oh, players. Yeah. So, not, I'm not. I mean, maybe he does something. Like I said, maybe he does something. Maybe he. Yeah. Right. Play. But like I said, if I was to call it right now, from what I see on paper, no. I'm only in second third place in the AFC East. Yeah. And on top of that, I probably see them in the AFC at top, at top best, seventh, eighth place. If they go to the seventh, they go to the playoffs. They're going to be losing the first round. Yeah, I agree. It's interesting. It's interesting because it's yeah. like who they got. They they set their stuff up, but it's just how they play. So agreed. We'll see. Yeah. But I also think I also think it kind of plays into play. We're still somewhat beginning of the stage of the NFL free agency, and it's going some places. Draft picks will be coming yeah. up very soon. We're going to be looking into that later on. I think next month, if I'm not mistaken, the draft. That's what. Okay, next month we'll be looking into that to see what additions they have onto it. We also got trades that are available going forward, so there could be some trades coming in. Um, God knows what. I think NFL is it, it, no no lie. This has been thus far the crazy NFL free agency that's happened in the last two years. So I think it's going to be awesome. I think it's looking forward to the future. To be honest, of NFL, this next season is going to be nice and dynamic. Last one. Um, the Houston Texans also signed Mark Ingram for one year, three million dollars. Oh, Texas! So they got Ingram. running game. They got Ingram and Lindsey. That's going to be a nice duo. Just saying. That's a nice pickup. Look, I agree with you. If it was Ingram two years ago, oh, oh 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll go there. I'll go there. I'll go there. I'll go there. I agree with you. It was Lindsay three years ago. Okay. I'll go then there. we have a different conversation. At this point, yeah. Yeah. Um, in regards to what they're doing in 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 uh, in Las Vegas, yeah, no. Gotcha. Yeah. No. So, um. So like that. Like that. Oh, last but not least, for all my Tampa Bay Buccaneer listeners out there, the whole hey, thing comes back you, together. Except so far for one, that one person, the Monica Sue, has not signed with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. She still is a free agent. Oh wow. He should try, he should come back. He should come back. Fans come back together. Very good. Yeah, go. Yeah, he should come back. Tom Rash is in the motherfucker. Okay, guys. Now going on, to, going on to the outro. This is the ending of the show. Hope y'all enjoy for sure. This has been brought to you by R A R W A Productions. I apologize for that. Uh, from here at the oh. Reject Rundown, totally appreciate you guys. The Rejects in the booth. That's is this episode. Now, last last words, conclusions. Ashley three. I'll leave it to you. All right, guys. Um... Trying to get more active on uh, on Snapchat. My bad, I really haven't, but I'm still trying to get more active on it. I'm going to be posting some of the stuff on Sunday for from the game. I want to say to everybody that's taking the time to like, taking the time to, to appreciate us, to, to follow us. Mm-hmm. We appreciate you so much. Keep it growing. Keep it going, guys. We love it. We love it. We love it. Thank you so much. Yes. To Miss Josephine, I agree with you. James Winston has not done some of the greatest things, but I'm looking at it as a, as a professional sport, you know, uh, analyst at this point. I'm not a professional, but I don't have a degree. But just looking at it from that point, you, uh, I want to give a shout out also to my homeboy, Mono Duarte. Love you, man. Appreciate you. Thank you for all the good wishes. To all the things out there that love us, that appreciate us one more time. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to hand it off over to the Macri Zachary. Keep on going, big brother. <laughs> the Macri Zachary. I like that one. <laughs> um, yes, guys. Great show. Uh, shout out to the fans. We love you guys. We love you guys for tuning in. We love you guys for following and make sure we get some hashtags out there. Follow us on all forms. Um, definitely love the feedback. Like I said, feel free to come back on anything at any time. Mm-hmm. You can definitely come at Tony the Kid about all of his bears, love and hate situations. All He's there for all of it. Um, <laughs> hand it back over to him, man. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, this yes, this has been an awesome show. Thank y'all for joining us for sure. Thank you, like uh, all the rest of the guys said. Thank you for all the feedback, all the comments, the likes, and all the stuff like that going on Instagram right now at the moment. That Instagram is going on on live at the moment right now. Facebook is right behind it. Totally appreciate all the love and support um, and all the comments and anybody who's been laying in our comments. All of you guys, it's been great conversations. Yo, follow us on Twitter, yo. Follow yes. us on Twitter, mad followers. Go, <laughs> go for it. We are definitely live on Twitter. Zach the Mac is in hands with that one. He will definitely reply back, just like myself. Brothers in the row on that. Uh, as far as mm-hmm. end of the show, Josephine, though you are listening, of course. I think this can be the only time I believe in history that we can agree <laughs> that we can agree on this whole Winston thing for sure. I got your back on that one. That's the only time I'm gonna agree with you on that because we're gonna have some arguments about LeBron and we're gonna continue having those. But I, Thank you for that. I, you know what? I'm actually waiting I got you, girl. I got you, girl. Don't worry. So oh. What you got? Say that one more time. I got you, girl. Don't worry. Remember last week you said you had something for her in regards to her response about you about her saying the fact that you don't want like a media friendly kind of guy, and she said newsflash. That's the prime. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, sure this. That's funny. <laughs> That's what I got for it. That was a hilarious statement. Uh. Not true. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, LeBron, as far as I know, LeBron, you effed up Space Jam 2. Just saying. Now, the only Ooh, positive whoa, note. Whoa, yes, you did. Whoa, the only yeah. the only thing, the only thing you did right it was hiring positive graphics stadium people. You hired a good graphic team. You brought bomb graphics to that. As far as movies concerned, I'm sorry. It's already going to suck. Just saying. But thank you for that. Uh, LeBron's in it. Plain and simple. It's down the drain. It's out. It's done. Sorry. The, the jerseys are horrible. The jerseys are horrible. You messed up my Lola Bunny. I found her 
But you know what? Lola Bunny was actually not all that great. She's actually pretty good. She looks like an actual baller, she's which she was. Fine. She was a hooper yeah. in the first one, so she's still good. As a hooper, still has that nice perspective of it. But again, the graphic design team that you hired to do all that, I'll give you that. Otherwise, you shouldn't have been on that movie. <laughs> you, need to, you need to pick somebody else for that one. <laughs> But uh, yeah, something about that. But uh, to, again, Ooh, truly man, appreciate nice. Josephine for sure for the positive note on the Winston thing. That's I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna leave it on a positive note. I think we got back on that one. But again, between LeBron, we're gonna have a lot of arguments, but she's gonna be a negative on that one. That's all. But uh, RWA fans, thank y'all for joining us. Tune in next week on the Reject in the booth. We're gonna continue with our sports show. Otherwise, stay on on week all week. We've been talking so much about this just uh, Justice League Justice Justice League Snyder Cut version, and we're gonna keep keep the comments going on that one for sure. So, y'all stay tuned. Y'all rejects. Y'all be good. Be safe. SG three Zach the Mac. Thank y'all for joining me. Y'all take it easy. Hey, this is.